Rhea Ripley makes proposition. Roman Reigns' position threatened. Absent WWE stars return teased. Best and worst of SmackDown before Fastlane 2023. The SmackDown before Fastlane lived up to its hype and gave fans a glimpse into what was to come this weekend. In addition to Roman Reigns' return next week, Triple H is also set to appear and address the WWE Universe. Keeping that in mind, let's take a look at the best and worst from the latest edition of SmackDown. Best, Rey Mysterio teasing WWE star's return. In previous months, the LDO picked a feud with the Almighty and the Street Profits on SmackDown. A couple of weeks ago, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford faced Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar in a tag team match. Lashley attacked Mysterio but his teammate failed to take up the opportunity for a win. The WWE Hall of Famer vowed vengeance this week and clashed with Lashley in a singles match. The Street Profits got involved, leading to a brawl between them and the LBO. This left Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro injured. Later, Rey Mysterio revealed that the duo would not be able to compete at Fastlane and that he would have to call someone. This led to much speculation on the potential replacements, including Carlito. Charlotte Flair and Asopa teamed up against Io Sky and Bailey in a tag team match. Since Flair and Asuka worked together earlier, they are aware of their strengths and weaknesses, which sometimes works well in their favor. During the match, the Queen accidentally kicked her own tag team partner, resulting in her taking over for the remainder of the match. While she won the bout, Asuka looked on displeased from ringside. With Fastlane barely a day away, the women's match on SmackDown lacked hype and left fans disengaged. Best, Rhea Ripley's proposition for Paul Heyman, the Bloodline, and the Judgment Day's alliance on SmackDown. Rhea Ripley's fearlessness and bold attitude contributed to her success. On the blue brand, Jimmy Uso, Solo Sokoa, and Paul Heyman walked into their locker room only to find the Judgment Day casually seated in their area. Ripley and Heyman requested everyone to leave the room. The eradicator added that she had something to discuss with the wise man, which was odd given that the bloodline and the Judgment Day crossed paths in a not so pleasant light in the past. Later, it was revealed that Ripley and Heyman came to an agreement of both their factions working together. La Knight and Jimmy Uso went face to face in the main event, where the former won. John Cena ran out to his aid when Solo Siko got involved. The Judgment Day and JV McDonough ran out, and Rhea Ripley grinned and shook hands with the wise man. Cody Rhodes and G. Uso came out to face the faction, thus hinting at a major Survivor Series match. The women's world champion dominates the women's division and proactively calls the shots for her team. This was a bold step by the Eradicator, which could further propel her future if she takes on the Paul Heyman girl tag.